Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy. Sharing from the book, Is That the Best You Can Do? Chapter 3. Hey, where do I fit in? It's true that we work very hard trying to fit in. With a group, with a team, in society, and the portion of our wardrobe that seems to have shrunk. Let's find out where you fit in with professional people like you. I was having a conversation with the program director at TV6 in Minneapolis when she visited my broadcast studio. She had come with a longtime friend of mine, Catherine Hoagland. Together, they were pitching me on the idea of televising my business talk show on MCN6. Her question was one that you may have asked in different words on a different subject and perhaps on many different occasions. Unfortunately, the question is very naive. How do you make sure your business talk show appeals to everyone? My response was immediate. What makes you think I'm trying to appeal to everyone? It seems logical in some ways that we ought to try appeal to everyone, but it demonstrates a lack of market clarity if we think it's even remotely possible. It's pie in the sky. It's thinking we can sell sandals to an Eskimo and then having the ignorance to be disappointed when we don't. It means we don't understand people and that lack of understanding can spell our demise in anything we do. Not everyone needs us and of those who need us, not everyone wants us. Let's take a look at the bell curve that represents how any given population of people think and act. This is true in any given sector of society, in any group of people, and among professionals like you. There are number one, the innovators, early minority, the early adopters, there's the early majority, the late majority, and the late minority. I have also been known to call these groups the tree shakers, leaf rakers, people who watch the leaves being raked, people who heard there was some leaf raking going on a while back, and those remaining people who say years later, wow, I had no idea there was a leaf problem. What I was trying to share with MCN6 is that I'm not in the business of leading horses to water. I'm interested in helping the horses who recognize that they will be thirsty in the future and ought to do something about it, the innovators. I am also interested in the horses, early adopters, who are thirsty now and notice other horses are finding water and are willing to invest their time into finding water too. There is also a mixed group of horses who are feeling quite parched and have noticed a growing number of horses wandering in a specific direction, indicating that water could be found that way. They follow too, the early majority. These are the kinds of horses that can be helped and a percentage will be helped by themselves. Unfortunately, there will always be a significant portion of the population who can't be helped because they haven't noticed, late majority, and those who won't be helped no matter how much they need it, the late minority. Nothing is going to change their attitude. Don't beat your head against the wall with these people. Graciously accept their no when they give it and quickly move on with your life. Robert Frost summed this up in simpler terms when he said, the world is full of willing people, some willing to work, the rest willing to let them. You save yourself a headache when you spend your time with people willing to work. I have been known to summarize this chapter by saying, only lead thirsty horses. Don't worry about the rest of them. I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for listening.